Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How do you feel today? Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Hey, welcome to a new class. Remember that today we are going to start with your presentation, the ones that you create uh, yesterday. So please try to be ready at the moment that I mention your name, you are going to present it, right? Still waiting for the rest of the class because I already got only us eight. Remember that we are so close to finish this module. Only us one week and two days. And you need to read a lot because in that way you are going to learn 
a new vocabulary related with uh, these topics that we are studying. Hello, Ana Beatriz. How do you feel today? Hello. Everything okay? Yes? Yes. Okay. What about you, Mr. Escobar? What can you tell us? How do you feel today? How was your day? I am ready, teacher. Working a lot? I am ready for the class. Okay. Excellent. Pretty busy with uh, a lot of papers in your work? Excuse me, teacher. Do you still uh, keep pretty busy with a uh, lot of paper in your job? A little, a little <laughs> teacher. Yes, a few. Yes. Okay. What about you, Wendy Maribel? How can you tell us? What can you tell us? What? How, how do you feel today? How was your day? I feel... um. Little tired. No, no, no. no. I, I, don't, I don't believe you that you feel tired. <laughs> yes, teacher. No, no, I no. work hard. Ah, okay. Hard. My, my work. Ah, okay. Cotization, 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 and, and I sell. Uh, to to take it travel ticket okay and um form form for cómo se dice como de visa para solicitar visa las formas de la solicitud de visa Ah, okay. Yes. Mm. Okay. Bueno, si alguien quiere tramitar visa, por ahí está el conecte. Yes. Asesora. Yes. Ah, okay. Por ahí hay algunos que quieren visa para Rusia. To travel to Russia, you know. <laughs> I have clients. Uh, the, um, um, the agency in Santana. In clients in Usulután, in San Miguel. My goodness. <laughs> Thanks, God. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. It is a, a recognized uh, brand, maybe. Yes. Thanks, God. So much. Uh, in, in other, in other series, recognized. Okay. Bueno, por ahí están los cupones de descuento. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to buy in different places like Portique, Le Mans. Uh, I don't remember the other names. 
But I had traveled in, in uh, Avianca, American Airlines, Delta, Copa. No, Spirit, no, uh, Volaris, no. No, Spirit and Volaris. No, 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 no. I don't like, I don't like. <laughs> Clients don't uh, clients doesn't like and clients like. Okay. Yeah. Okie dokie, Anna Lillian Reyes de Ulloa is there, ready? Ready, teacher. Okay, hello, Miola Chiquilla, porque ya, I, I can see it, I can see it. Yes. Ah, okay. But it's chiquillo. Ah, chiquillo, chiquillo, okay. Yes. The little boy. What, what's his name? Como fue? <laughs> what his name? Ahí no sé cómo traducir los pies, cuántos tengo, cómo se llama, cuántos años tiene. No, 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 no. Okay, so, me dice. Listen, listen. What his name? No, adivino, teacher. No me acuerdo. What his name? Name. Nombre. ¿Cuál es el nombre? Ah. Carlos Antonio. Oh, okay. Carlos Antonio, igual al papá, ok. <laughs> ok, thank you, Laura. How do you feel, Laura? Can you hear me, Laura? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Carlos Alberto Bautista is there too. Okay, remember, as I told you yesterday, the one that uh, didn't uh, present what, what you were doing yesterday, you are going to do it today at the beginning of the class. So please try to be ready, try to be ready because we are going to start in some minutes. Let me see how many people I got, 15. Okay, we are going to start now. Let me get the list. Okay, I got it here now. And also today uh, in the morning, I was checking your grades. And I saw that there are a lot, uh, some of you that missed the midterm exam. You need to do it. Estuve checando las notas hoy por la mañana. Y encontré que uh, hay algunos que todavía no se han realizado el midterm exam. Es necesario, es necesario, por favor. Porque uh, before we go on vacation, I need to have all your grades. Necesito tener todas sus notas antes de irnos de vacation. El, el, el mismo viernes tengo que hacerlo quizá en la noche porque el sábado no creo Va, I'm, I'm going to try to... el sábado ya le falla la compañía de internet ¿verdad? Eh, ah, ah, exa exactamente si sí, me van a cortar el internet ya me dijo eh, Ana Lilian me dijo cómo es la cosa ok Adriano are you there? Hello? No? I get okay. Hey, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Hey, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Hey, Ana Mariela Maravilla. Present teacher. Hey. Present teacher. Okay, Escobar. Present. Claudia Raquel. Present. Uh, Francis. Present teacher. Always, always, always. Jose Jonathan. Always teacher. Ah, uh, uh, always, always. Jose Jonathan. 
Ese es su eslogan y su jingo, ok, always. Eh, Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. There two. Okay. Uh, María Elena. I'm here, teacher. In a few minutes, I connect. Okay. Mayra Veralice. Present, teacher. Welcome. Eh, Hold on a second. Zaira Eliana Resinos. Here. Going motorcycle. You. <laughs> you are driving motorcycle. Ah, okay. I don't know what happened. Okay, Saira Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Santos Misael. Santos Misael is not here today. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay. Jenny Suleima. No. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. okay. Um, Alberto Bautista. Present teacher. And Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, here we go. We are going to start today. Welcome. As I told you yesterday, I need that uh, the one that missed the presentation do it now. So please try to do it now. Para quienes no hicieron su presentación el día de ayer, uh, pueden hacerla hoy. Por favor. Cameras on, cameras on, cameras on, please. Thank you. Who is going to present? Anybody? No? Sí, sir, yo voy con Misael, creo que se llama, y no ha entrado a una clase. Ah, ok. We, we are going to wait for Misael. But somebody else can do it. Me, teacher. Okay. okay, here we go, Olivia. And Wendy and Jonathan. Jonathan, no, no here. I don't see. No permite compartir. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, now you can do it.
Here we go. Yo te lido. No. Sí. ¿Sí o no? Se ve la imagen del hijo. También yes. Yes. We got it. Okay. Lido is there. Yo te lido. No me olvido. Ok. Nosotros elegimos Lido en It's a Good Brand. Y for me, the, the best. Oh, it is the best for you? Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Competence, competen, um, Sinaí, Bimbo. En Bim, monarca. Pimbolete. En monarca. <ríe> en monarca. Okay. En, uh, other, other question. Quality. Tradition. Flavor. Price. And familiar. En mensaje. Yo del ido no me olvido. Ah, ok. In color, in red, and white. Okay. Maybe you have a, a special celebration where you use a little, and for that reason, you never forgot it, okay? <laughs> okay, teacher. Por eso es que no se olvidan del libro porque tienen eventos especiales. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> All time. <laughs> Always. Yes. Okay, let me see. I got uh, Adriana's driving home. Okay, okay, don't worry. And be careful too. Okay, let us continue. Thank you. Somebody else? Who's next? No. Okay. Well, no hicieron la tarea entonces. No, no, teacher, Adriana viene de camino. Ah, okay, Adriana, but in your case. But what about the rest? ¿Y los demás? No? Ah, okay. Let us start with the new topic then if you don't want to talk. Okay, let us talk about the component of effective random conversation. This is class number 18. We already talked about the review. And we have uh, these questions. This is only one, I'm sorry, okay. The question say, is a weak brand a good investment? Or maybe we, we have two questions. But let us uh, focus our attention in the power. Is a weak brand a good investment? And the second one say, what happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? And you can give me some example in order that we can start talking about the topic of today. Okay, let me see your faces. I need to see your faces. Okay, who wants to who wants to answer the first question? Cameras, 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 please, cameras. Remember, it's kind of, kind of mandatory to to have your cameras on. 
because at the moment that um, in support, take a look at the video, they need to see your faces. Ok, recordemos que desde el inicio eso es parte de, de su formación, de mantener siempre la cámara encendida, de decir presente a la hora que se les llama. Eh, esos son como algunos eh, acuerdos o reglamentos que tenemos. And it is really necessary to do it. Okay, I, I'm, I'm still waiting for the answer of the first question. And later on, we are going to talk about the second one. What can you tell me about the first question? Me, teacher. Is, it is not it is not a good in, inverse inverse inversion uh, because it's is no brand no okay. como le dijeron no de calidad it doesn't have uh, the necessary quality it's not trustful to okay what else que más you have an existing business that or of growth, it is identified say due to business pivots, significant growth, or an existing new offerings. You will likely want to add a brand new show. Okay, some ideas. Okay. What do you think about the first question, Maida? What can you tell us about the first question? What do you think, Claudia? What can you tell me about the first question? Um, I think maybe it's not a, a good investment. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Remember the first question. Is a weak brand a good investment? Yes or no? Just tell me. Well, I think, I consider, I believe, in my opinion, according to my experience, what I can say is this. And what about the second one? What happens when a brand doesn't meet consumer expectation? Okay, tell me, what do you think about? Pero necesito que me compartan qué es lo que piensan de la pregunta uno y dos. No debemos de ser simples espectadores de, del tema de las preguntas de la clase. ¿Cuáles preguntas, teacher? Excuse me. No las veo. ¿Cuáles preguntas? No las veo. No, I, I show you the, the questions. Las preguntas que yo mostré al inicio, Wendy, estas, mire. Wendy. 
Okay, yeah, we have to mark up. You got it in your material too. Es que si me, no me puedo estar saliendo a ver lo del material. Ah, ok. Bueno, puede ser que quizás no las, no las estaban viendo, por eso no me han respondido, pero ahora, you got it there in front of you. You say, we brand a good investment. And what happens when a brand doesn't meet consumer expectation? Sí, chef. The consumer stopped watching it and also communicating other potential clients uh, that the brand is not good. Oh, okay. What you are saying is that uh, when a customer feel that um, they are missing his or her expectation, he has start buying the product and try to look for a new one. Okay, I got it. What else? I said for question to show this customer expectation continue to rise a consumer continue to one more brands able to kill or have an accident. The expectation will always be there in the marketplace. Okay. Somebody else, somebody else. Teacher. But in my opinion, in history, there are someone branch or ideas that others may succeed, but other person or the same person, um, I don't know. Um, Uh, do it. For example, Tesla uh, have uh, many ideas, and in our days is a branch uh, exit, ex exit, exitos. I don't know how to say exitoso. Mm, don't get confused with the word exito because if you say exit, it's a little. <laughs> yeah, exit is something else. You, you, but, uh, need, you need to talk about success. Success. Yeah. Okay, what else came out? Hay algunos que no les he oído su voz opinando, diciendo, teacher, I think that the answer to this question is this. Well, what I finish this because this remember it's necessary that you speak that way you are going to develop skills. And according to my experience, uh, the way that we use to communicate ideas nowadays speaking for the reason I I give you the chance that you develop speaking because um, maybe you you know how to write, how to read, but also you need to know how to speak with somebody else. Speaking is really important for me. And for that reason, I invite you to do it. Every class, every day, and don't be afraid about mistakes. No se preocupe por los errores que van a cometer. Hay que aprender de ello. Y si algo eh, se dijo de X manera y se puede decir, decir de una manera mejor, we are going to switch. But try to do it and try to speak clear. Uh, and also, if you want to speak in a slowly way, you can do it in that way, no problem. But what I want is that you use 
your time in the right way in order to develop the language. Because I don't know, but um, I, I consider that uh, some of you only in the, in the class have the opportunity to, to use English with, with the rest of classmates. But if you have the chance to do it in your office with somebody else, it's really nice. You are going to get more experience and you are going to see the reality, face the real, real situation. And that is what I'm trying to create in you. But all depend what you think about. Okay, let us continue then if you want, if you want, want to, to talk about teacher hello la, 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 primer, la first question se refiere a eh, como inversor comprar una marca de baja como era que no cumple las expectativas digamos de los consumidores o como cliente la primera pregunta se refiere a que si yo puedo invertir en una marca que eh, que no es tan buena digamos o tiene baja es eh, débil digamos Yes. Pero oh, okay. como, como haciendo negocios, digamos, como yo que tengo dinero y quiero comprar una marca para promoverla. Ok, sí. could, could be in that way. Could be in that way. Okay. But also could be in the way as a customer. Oh, ok. Eh, ya yes, porque eh, yo iba a eh, comentar que I consider that is not a good, a good idea to invest in a web brand. Ok. Eh, porque good. iba a dar ese comentario. <risa> Pero... okay, ok, solo lo que me va a cambiar es la pronunciación de la palabra idea. Idea. I, idea. Ok, teacher. Okay. Siempre se me ah. olvida. Ok, thank ah. you, teacher. Eh, escríbala, escríbala por favor ahí okay. en algo. Idea, ahí. idea. Sí, la hace unas 15 veces y no, jamás se le va a olvidar. Tiche, la escribo como, la, como se pronuncia. Uh, yes. Idea, ok, uh, Tiche. Uh, idea, idea, idea. Idea, idea, ok. Thank okay. you, Tiche. Thank you, welcome. Tiche, in, in, my, in my opinion, in the second question. Okay. When a brand doesn't know me customer expectations, expectation, expectation. you look for another brand. Ah, okay. Excellent. And everything is how the same. Teacher, how do you pronounce expectation? Expectation. expectation. I, I believe that in everything that we do, uh, we take into account the word expectation. Not only when you buy something, no solamente cuando compramos algo, sino también eh, en otros aspectos, en otros momentos, también tomamos en consideración ese tipo de cosas. Y si no llenan la, las expectativas que tenemos, tomamos otras decisiones. I know what you, that you understand what I'm talking about, but in this case, but in this case, we are talking about uh, business, you know, brand and product and so on. Okay, somebody else? Teacher, in my opinion, um, is um, it doesn't meet customer expectation. Uh, by other other brands other brands and um, through other other products okay you are going to try to taste taste all the panel that the, the kind of product that you are talking about. But Sorry? the word expectation has to be in our mind for everything. Para, para toda la mayoría de cosas debe de estar esa palabra. 
Si no llena las expectativas, you need to look for something else. Or, I don't know. All depend. But in this case, we are talking about product. You need to look for something else. Okay. Okay, let us continue. Because of the time, we got a conversation. Read the conversation and take turn practicing it. Teacher. Hello. Only idea. Uh, if you buy um, chip, you can transform um, the brand and you can make uh, como es vender, buy, no, buy es comprar. Sell, vender sell, el, sell. You can sell um, uh, with and, and obtain um, como ganancias, no sé cómo se dice ganancias. Ah, ya se le olvidó y no la anotó. No. Es decir que no está creando el vocabulario, but I told you. Ganancia. Pero ganancia es como, como tener un superávit, porque si usted compra algo que está barato y lo transforma o lo renueva, eh, luego usted vende caro. That is called profits. Profit is ganancia. Yes, profits. Hoy sí la voy a anotar. <laughs> ok, let us talk about the conversation. Thank you very much. Ok, we got a conversation between Andrea and, and Vincent. Ok, take a look at the conversation. Uh, Watch this to be uh, the air selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a, a brand that delivers what it promised makes customer buy it. Regardless of price, maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all this fast is about. Okay. Do you know what is the meaning of the word fast? This one? If you don't know it, just look it up in the dictionaries and you are going to get a lot of different meanings and uses of this word. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm going to give you two minutes in order that you read it, in order uh, that you can identify all the difficult work for you. Okay. Teacher, teacher, no. I have a question in the paragraph, in the first paragraph. When you say, may you flow like a feather, feather, feather. Pero ese like es, ese like es cuando se dice como. Como una pluma. Como una pluma. Thank you, teacher. Ah, verdad que aquí ah, ya no estamos usando like como un verbo. In this case, no like a verb. Make it flow like a feather. Okay, I'm going to read again. Watch this to be a... Uh, they are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I could never get the pairs dos. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either. 
by the brand that delivers what promise makes customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will back a pair to see what all this fast is about. Okay. Any questions so far from here? Hello? Teacher. Teacher, what is the meaning of regardless? What is the meaning of regardless of price? Okay, before to give you a translation, let us see the context. Veamos el contexto de la palabra. Veamos desde el inicio. I couldn't either. But a brand that delivered that a promise makes customer buy. Buy it regardless of price. Ojo con lo de arriba. They are too expensive. Ellos son demasiado caros. Y luego, ¿qué es lo que sucede? Aquí. But a brand that delivers what is promised makes customer buy. Buy it regardless of price. What do you understand now in the context? Antes de darle una traducción así, literal. Los zapatos son caros. Mm -hmm. Pero una compañía que, que, que cumple lo que promete hace que sus clientes compren no interesando el precio, no importando el precio. Sin importar. Independientemente del precio. Esos son sinónimos. Mm -hmm. okay. ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Somebody else? Any question? No? Okay, make on a screenshot if you want. But what's the meaning feeder and float? Or float, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Make a float like a feather. Float and feeder. Okay, float. On air, flood on air. Make you what? Yes. What's the mean? What, 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 when, I, when I see this gesture, I'm floating on the air. Flutter. Ah, okay. Like a feather. Como una que? Como una pluma. Como una ah. pluma. Ah, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Teacher, y ya vieron eso. <laughs> ya vieron eso. La estructura de, de sustituir like. Mm, imagino, imagino que en la parte del básico debieron haberlo visto. Mm, no recuerdo, pero bueno. Thank you. Sí. Y si no ha aparecido, pues ya va a aparecer por ahí. Porque en este caso uh, no es que estamos sustituyendo nada, sino que estamos como, como haciendo como una... como una comparación de algo, ¿no? Make you float like a feather. Flotar como. Ok. 
Okay, but maybe later on we are going to talk about this, uh, this grammar point. And we are going to, I don't know if you have, uh, if you have more questions about, let us start practicing. <clears throat> No? O oh, si sí, hay preguntas. No hay preguntas. Let me see how many people. I got 20. Okay. Tenía porque ya no tengo 20. Se me fugó uno. La conexión de internet. Okay, here we go. Let me see the time that I'm going to give you to practice this conversation. It's going to be five minutes. It is enough, I guess. So please accept my invitation. Teacher, yo la acepté, pero no sé qué pasó. I don't think so. Francis, Francis, you need to accept the invitation. Sí, la acepté, la acepté, teacher, pero yo no sé qué pasó porque aquí estoy siempre. Okay, le envío al dos. Thank you.
lamento que te sientas así. Pero aunque no lo creas, yo amaba tu... Microphone. Microphones. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me, I got only just two minutes to, uh, in order to check out the attendance, then you are going to practice with somebody else related with the question uh, that, uh, let me see. Franz, Francis ask, let me, let me tell you the following. I don't know if you remember or if you have studied this topic, but um, yes, I got my microphone on. Okay, the word like also we get confused with the word us. The confusion in using like or us is caused by a lack of understanding of the word roles because in formal writing like uh, is used as a preposition telling where when or how the noun in the sentence is doing and as it is used as conjunction joining two clauses una conjunción es la que une dos cláusulas but in this case, when we when we mention the word like, it's, it's different. And as I told you, most of the time, like compares to scenes. And la mayoría de veces, like compara dos cosas. Imagínense que usted eh, le va a decir a alguien, Él, él, él se parece a, a William Levy. He looks like William Levy, no? You are going to use the word like. ¿Quién, teacher? ¿Quién se parece? Alguien, I'm, I'm just uh, giving you an example in order that you can remember. As soon as you see someone and you are going to say, wow, he looks like William Levy, you are going to say. And that way you are going to use the word like. ¿Por qué? Porque usted está haciendo como una similitud entre dos personas. Así va a funcionar. Okay, let, let me check out first the attendance. And then we are going to start talking about the conversation. And I invite you to investigate more about the use of the word like. As a preposition. Okay, teacher, thank you. As you can see, um, every time that you are getting more experience and that you are reaching different level, you are learning the different use or some words that you already know in a different way. A medida van avanzando en nivel, se van dando cuenta que algunas palabras que han aprendido en nivel básico, ya en este nivel, eh, las palabras van cambiando su significado dependiendo del uso y el contexto. Y de eso se trata. Hey, Adriana del Carmen. Adriana. Adri. No, Ana Beatriz. Yes, Ana Lilian. Present. Adriana, Ana. teacher. Hello. Es que me... Adriana, present. Es que se me había trabado el teléfono. Perdón. Okay, no problem, no problem. Don't worry. Eh, let me see, Ana Mariela. Present teacher. Okay. Escobar is there. Claudia. Present. 
Francis. José Jonathan. Present. Se había quedado trabado el teléfono. No. Sí, teacher. Ok, Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. María Elena. Teacher. Ok, Mayra Veralice. Present, teacher. Zaira Eliana. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Santos Misael. Present, teacher. Ahí está, apareció, apareció. Wendy. Present, teacher. Jenny Suleima. Present, teacher. Ahí está, Jenny, también. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. And Mario. Present teacher. Okay. Okay. Let us start with the conversation and try to do it in the best way. Clearly with a good pronunciation. Who wants to start? Can you need to Misa is going to start. Misa is going to start. Okay. Class is TV and they are selling shoes that can make your clothes like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. Neither was a brand that prefers. What is promised may cost me buy. It's regarding a price, maybe the will make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair of to see what all this fuss is about. Okay, thank you. Only the last one, how do you, how do you pronounce the word? The last one? Let me see. The one that is after the, the article. Mm, which one? The, pre, the previous one uh, of is. In the last line. Mm, to see what all this all the fuss is about. Okay, all the fuss is about the fuss. Okay, fuss. Yeah, fuss. Do you know what is the meaning? Um, it's it's a kind of um, it's like a rumor or something that is, um. Trending, something like that? Yeah, it could be. I imagine that uh, suddenly a car is stopped and is selling something. And you see that a lot of people are going there. And you say, okay, let me do, uh, let me check out the fast set here. Okay. Yeah, could be uh, in, in our words, could be, well, we, we can have different uh, synonym of this word. Alboroto, alaraca, bochinche. Yeah. 
y anótenla porque difícilmente si después se buscan en el diccionario no la van a encontrar. And also we can use it uh, for, for berrinche. <laughs> And uh, at the same time, we can use it as, as a verb, ha, ha, it has a different meaning. Como verbo tiene un significado diferente porque está siendo usado como nombre. Como verbo, eh, esto vendría a significar como, como algo que incomoda con frecuencia. Para expresar incomodidad, we can use this. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, continue, please. Palabras pequeñitas, pero que al final tienen un significado grande, grande. Okay, next, please. Mi teacher. Ah, okay. No sé si con Don Carlos o... Who's your partner? Who's your partner? Y Don Carlos y Adriana. Ah, ok. You choose between them. Bueno. Te, eligen, te eligen entre ellos. Ellos que se elijan, voy a empezar yo. Watch this TV ad. They are saying choose that can make you flow like a feeder. They are, they are very popular at work. Ladies first. Ah, okay, lady first, he said. Está cediendo su espacio. Hello. Okay, lo hago yo. I would never get a pair of jobs. They are too expensive. A good and eater, but a brand that del delivers what, what it promised. Make a customer pay is regardless of price. Maybe they really make it you faster. You faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get a these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what I the fast is about. What all the fast is about. Okay, I hear a word. Let me see. Okay, right here. Um, this L is a silent letter. I good never. I good. No good. I would never. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. Wouldn't either, teacher. Yes, it's going to be better to say in this way, even though that sometimes you can listen as a either. Con esta palabra tenemos que tener como cierto eh, cuidado porque puede ser pronunciada de diferentes maneras, either o either. La pueden oír de diferentes formas. Even if we are, uh, if somebody is using uh, British accents, it's going to be totally different. Ok, somebody up. ¿Quién más? Wendy. Ok. ¿Quién es Andrea y quién es Vicente? Yo, Andrea. Ok. Watch this TV. Uh, they are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of, of soles. They are too expensive. 
a good eater, but a brand that delivers what these promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get, get, get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the food is about. Okay, thanks. Wendy, how do you pronounce this word? Mm, okay. I explain it to Michelle. When I asked Michelle to read again, he correct himself. Cuando le pedí a Michelle que la leyera otra vez, él, él solito se corrigió. We need to pay attention to um, how uh, we are going to pronounce the words. Y cuando hago una corrección a alguien, no es solamente para esa persona, es para todos, para que se nos vaya grabando. Ok. ¿Cómo se pronuncia entonces? Fast. All the fast, fast. is about. Fast. Yes. Okay. Escribe eh, la palabra y a la par se escribe cómo se oye. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? No? Okay, let me choose a pair. Bueno, déjenme de entonces elegir un par de personas para ver si, si realmente estamos o no estamos. I know maybe some of you are saying, no, nah, that's too easy for me. I don't want to do it. Pero sucede que a veces todo lo fácil también tiene algo complejo, ¿no? Así es que, let us see. Como ya nadie quiere, entonces voy a buscar un par de personas. Let me choose uh, María Concepción. And... I want, teacher. Hello? I want. And Jenny. Okay, Jenny. Yes, thank, I thank can you. practice. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Because you are willing to do it. And Maria, are you there, Maria? Okay, here we go. Maria, are you there? Yes. No, uh, me first. What is the B? No, 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 uh, but, but, but let me see, let me see. You are Maria Elena. What about Maria Concepcion? Because I got two Marias. Let me see if Maria Concepcion is there. Ahí está, Maria Concepcion. I'm sorry, Maria Elena. You are going to do it next. Pero ya le había dicho a Maria. Okay, Concepcion. Okay, 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 okay. Could you start, Maria Concepcion? Okay. Why should I say? are telling you that they make you float like a father, they are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of to toes. They are too expensive. I will not a but a brand that delivers what it reminds my customer by it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you the faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what 
all the force is about. Okay, thank you. Only a word, let me see where it is. Promise. Promise. Okay, now, now you see the, uh, it's really, really important that you practice. Okay, and the last one is gonna be Maria Elena with somebody else. Porque ya María Elena había dicho que sí. Ok, somebody out. Voluntariamente, alguien que quiera practicar con ella. Claudia. Ok, Claudia, thank you. Mi first. Yeah. Watch this TV app. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feeder. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I could either, but a brand that delivers, uh, delivers what it promises may customer buy it regard, regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Any questions so far from here? No? Ah, okay, no question. Let us continue then. Well, according to the time, uh, we need to answer three questions that we got there. Let us do now look at the conversation and complete the sentences below. Number one, a brand that delivers what it promise. Customer buy it regardless of price. A word is missing. They, all these people, their shoes. And number three, do you agree with this first statement? This go with the pattern. Talking about the first one, the number one. About this one. The brand that delivered. What is promise? What is the word? Make. Make. Okay. What about the second one? They get 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 all these people. Buy buy the shoes. And the third one said, "Do you agree with the first statement?" Está de acuerdo usted con la con la oración primero? Yes or not? <laughs> Tell me. Yes, teacher. Why? Because. If you say yes, you need to tell me why. If you say no, you need to tell me why. Makes, teacher. Tell me, Yesani. 
makes as I talking about number three. Do you agree with the first statement? Yes or no? And another see the, the another thing that you need to see here is the, the meaning of the word deliver, a brand of deliver, what it's promise. Yes, teacher, I agree. Okay, you are agree. Yes, because when we buy something, especially when it's packaged or comes from another place or it's uh, from another country, we, uh, we make our expectations that we get what we saw in the pictures or what we saw in the ad. Okay. So after that, I will trust on the company or in the people that sold me. Okay. Perfect. Okay, then uh, let us talk about five components of a, a strong brand. We are going to talk about five components of a strong brand. But let me see how I'm going to explain this because I need that all of you understand exactly what we are going to talk about. Okay, uh, we are going to see it in two different ways in order that you can talk about. Okay, just let me know if you are able to see it. Okay, take a look of, of, of this. When we talk about uh, a certain brand, in this case, we are going to refer to five components. And the third one is going to be uh, that we need to have clear why. But uh, this why had to do, or we need to study how people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. What do you understand about this? Because take a look at the first one. Have a clear why. You need to have a clear why. And right here said that people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. And right here said that before you can create a successful brand, you need a strong why. What do you believe in? Great branded companies start with their why. That why engage us emotionally. Why? The what and how serve as the evidence of the belief. Okay, tell me, what do you understand about that? I don't know if you can see it very well. But uh, as you see here, this picture, we have the, the, the word why in the, in, in the middle right here. Would you tell me in your own words? What do you understand about this?
Hello. Are you still there? I think I think when we want to sell something, we know to to know why I want to sell that product because uh, uh one reason is because the there are exist customers that need the product. Then after now, uh, why? I need to know how I make the product and how, when, what to do to sell. Um, I don't know the, the what. I think it's because uh, it's the, what I need to 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 do for the customer know the my product and what to do but for the people wants to buy it. I think. Okay, okay. And and let us go back again to this slogan here. People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. What comes to your mind when you see this? And this was said by Simon. Simon. El fue el que dijo esta frase. People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. Try to keep in mind, please. And take a look at some numbers. Uh, number one say everyone knows what they do the second one everyone knows how they do and the third one now explain why you do it what, what, what do you think about the number third the third one number three and take a look at this small letter here. All your advertising should start with your why. Explain why do you do or yeah, what you do. Then explain how you do it. And finally, what it is or it is that you do. That means you are going to start from the middle to out. I think um, it's more like cover a necessity or a expectation of the customer. Okay. And uh, this is the why I create the, the brand or the company for cover a expectation or a necessity that my customer. Um, okay, have. that is the why. They buy it because, what? Because they need it. They need to satisfy a need. Los clientes necesitan satisfacer una necesidad y para eso fue creado el producto. For that reason, said that uh, in your advertising, you should start with the why, with the answer of the why. Por eso todos los anuncios deben de comenzar, deberían comenzar con el why. But let us see some number, 64% uh, of people cite share values as the main reason they have a relationship with the brand. What is that? Take a look again and try to, to identify and to clarify. Sixty-four percent of people sight. What is that? What is the meaning of this word? Sight. Share values as the main reason why I have a relationship with a brand. Coming.
Hello? Are you there? Are you there? Can you hear me or not? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Are you still there? Yes. This is we are here. Okay, okay. I don't know, maybe you are looking for the meaning of the word site that I asked you. But uh, I, I'm asking you this because I, I want to be sure that you know what is the meaning. Because uh, this, these words are really important in this topic. What word? Sight. 54% of people cite their values as the main reason they have a relationship with the brand. Mm, side. Yes. Side. No, I don't know what is inside. No idea, no idea, sir. No. Okay, writing down your vocabulary and then you are going to look for a minute. Let me check Google. Let me check Google. <laughs> yeah, the mansa burro, but sixty four percent of people sigh, they talk, they speak about the product or the brand. And at the same time they they share values as the main reason they have a relationship with the brand. They talk. It is citar this. Continue reading. Okay, 64% of people no, 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 no. no, no, continue reading the meaning that you got. Oh, no, 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 only, only in Google Translator, say, site no, no, is no, no, stuck. No, 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 Google, no Google Translator. You need to look it up in a dictionary. Teacher. Mean, sign in. But I, I guess I, I have idea. Okay. For example, it's like a, a, when a brand, uh, Penetrate the, the mind of the customer, for example. Uh, it's a pizza of little resistance. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a slogan, but it's not directly a slogan. Also, it's uh, when, 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 yeah, when customer of people re recommend the, 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 the brand. Okay, they no. talk about, they talk about. They, they talk about, yeah, yeah. So they talk about, that is, a, that is a minute. Yeah. But that, but I need that you writing down in your vocabulary because you need it. Uh, yeah, Saya, first time I see it. You see, this is the first time you see this word? Yeah, side yes. I, oh. I, I am really bad because I, I, I and remember that, that you need to all depend on the context. All depend on the context, uh, and that way it's gonna be the minute. The context, is, yes, is very clear. It's like when uh, uh, a note page when you you when you write an, uh, an article. Okay, okay. I'm going to continue. The goal is not to do business with people who want what you have. Listen this. The goal is not to do business with people who want what you have. The goal is 
to do business with people who believe what you believe and also was said by Simon Sonic. También lo dijo el mismo Simon, ¿sí? Try to keep in mind. If, if you can, you can make an screenshot. Okay, let us see the second one. Because of the time. A clear brand promise. You need to have a clear brand promise. Okay, let us talk about the, the 45% of a brand's image can be attributed to what it says and how it says. El 45% of the image. And right here said that what is your company's create? What is your company creates? What is that overall message you pass to your customer and employees? Do you know what is Creed, right? Or not? Hello? Me preocupa cuando ya no les oigo. I start thinking that maybe my connection is not, is not good. I, I am here, teacher. Ah, okay, but I need that you give your opinion about what I'm talking about. We are here, but I am sleeping. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, make sure your company delivers on what you say you will if you are not actually delivering on your brand promise. You are losing brand loyalty. Okay, what, what can you tell me about these two lines? Si no está cumpliendo lo que ha prometido, está perdiendo lealtad. Entonces, si usted promete como compañía algo, tiene que mantenerlo. Ok, number three, all clear target markets. Who is your ideal customer? Ok, somebody want to, to read it? Want to help me? Me teacher. Ok, ok, do it. Who is your ideal customer? Your identity is not everyone you need to have to have to have a target audience or every believer there is non-believer. The best way to figure out who they are is to create by your persona persona. Yes. For your company. Persona this. Yes. <clears throat> For your company, mm, your non believer helps you identify who you are not set yourself apart for your competition. 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 Okay, the, the first thing that you need to do is identify who is your ideal customers. Because not all, not all, all the people are going to be your customer. And you need to know that. And when we talk about customer loyalty, uh, we can worse. Ten, listen this. Ten by as much as a single push. Let me move a little bit here in order that you can uh, uh, 
that maybe maybe at the moment that somebody is going to buy something and they are going to do it only just once but in that way you are going to increase your loyalty because they are going to try your product and they are going to say wow it's wonderful i'm going to continue uh, buying this product okay let us see number four clear branding and design consistency don't think on consistency in being boring if you are using a consistent voice logo imaginary brand promise and color you are making your brand easily recognize think of a famous brand and their consistency like apple mcdonald coca-cola etc 71% smarter recall using visual assets as part of their content marketing strategy. And you need to take a look at this too. The human brain can process images about 60,000 faster than its processes were. Okay, what do you think about this? ¿Será cierto eso que el cerebro puede procesar imágenes 60 mil veces más rápido que como procesar palabras? What do you think about that? In my opinion, depends every person, teacher. ¿Será? In, si, hay personas que son visuales. Los estudios científicos son visuales. No puedo decirlo en inglés. Ah, visuales, okay. entonces, they, they are visual, visual learner. Entonces, ellos sí procesan las imágenes antes, antes que las palabras. Ah, y más okay. rápido, pero hay personas que no. Ok, take a look at this. Every user uh, spend about 10 seconds on website before deciding if they are interested in sticking around or not this initial 10 seconds are made entirely of visual first impression when you visit uh, a web page for example you see a lot of pictures and that will call your attention and color increases brand recognition but up to 80 percent all depend on the color that you are going to use in your brand and that is going to be clear. And the last one is clear marketing strategy. Right here, we talk about 61%. So business owner report what content management is very important or absolutely critical to creating a cohesive customer journey. And also 65% uh, of people prefer emails that contain mostly images versus uh, 35 who prefer mostly text, what you were saying. All depend. Ahí está lo que estaba diciendo Francis, que no todos prefieren imágenes. ¿Sí? Okay, but uh, let me go back again to 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 realize these five uh, important. No sé, pero creo que quizás con los números no les ha quedado como claro sobre los componentes del strong brand. Let, let us take a look at this. Okay, we are going back again to talk about passion and why. We already talked about this. But let us see uh, in a different way. When you are able to articulate what you are passionate about, your customer will be able to as well. Your why, why they buy. Not sure how to determine what your why is. Try this method for Firebase. It, it, is, uh, it is something, okay? Brand like Microsoft. Whereby Parker and JetBlue have a great mission and vision statement 
to guide and inspire the work they do. And they all have one thing in common. Their passion and why are clear and impactful. That means that they, they inspire in the whys. Ellos se inspiran en el porqué de las cosas. But we need to take uh, care about this. Okay, who wants to, to read the second one? In a hurry, because it's time. Me, teacher. Okay. You find your clear brand promise. Um, Uy, se me fue 15. Um, 13, 14, 15 minutes or less can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Sound familiar? This is Geico brand promise. It set them apart and quarantines something to their future customer. Thing you brand promise uh, what truly different differentiates you from your competitors when you customer receive, receive a certain product or service from you that tangible benefit or choosing of choosing your company is definite by your brand promise. What your brands want burning a statement in a sentence. If you are having trouble, create one. Uh, there are plenty, plenty of phenom phenomenal brand promise to pull inspiration from. Okay, what, what is uh, the main message of this? We already talked about this, but I, I need to clarify it. And you can give me some examples about it. Lo que se le promete al cliente debe de cumplirse. ¿Sí? Imagine that a company is saying something in, on, on television, but at the moment that you buy the product is not good, what happened? And that usually happened too. Y algunas veces pasa. Los anuncios son bonitos, pero el producto is not working. Okay, number three. Identify your target market. You can be everything to everyone. That's the law. You can be everything to everyone. It should be anyways, taking a hard look at whom your target market or persons are comprises will help you narrow your effort to the group. That's lazy focus will identify whom you should take stock of the ensure you are in alignment with how they shop, eat, breathe, and maybe even sleep. Here's how we do persona development. You need to identify what kind of customer you are looking for. If you are um, Conscious about that, you are going to succeed. But you need to identify it. As soon as you create a prototype, you are going to think about that. Tan pronto crees el prototipo del producto, tienes que pensar en qué eh, identificar como la audiencia a la que va el producto.
And later, at number four, talk about designs. Syncos, Amazon, Starbucks, and the iPhone. What comes to your mind? The logos? The logos, right? But what else comes to your mind? The, their entire brands. We tend to think of these global brands as individual ecosystem that contain everything the brand stand for and represent. That's powerful. This icon brand logos have remained largely unchanged since their individual inceptions. And that helps foster a strong brand. A consistent design extends beyond logos to and it encompasses everything you do in the whole of your brand. For example, we have Blazer is a newest brand with the beauty industry that it is killing it with consistency. Although they use their client base to promote their brand, everything is very cohesive. This is a great example of how elements like color and font can really help tie a brand together and help maintain a consistent field. But you can mention another brands that you use and has to do with the design. Like the example that we read at the beginning, like Amazon and Starbucks, and also talking about iPhone too. I don't know who wants to say something about this. Hello? Hello? And the last one, cause of the time, develop a clear marketing strategy. We already talked about this. Let me read only just the three line. A strategy isn't just a, a password. It's a necessary component to your brand's success. Your marketing strategy takes all of these strong brand component and makes them work together to achieve your goal. Don't forget to benchmark along the way to determine how successful your brand is. Well, I don't know if it is clear. I'm going to share with you the info or I'm going to invite you to visit the link that you have in your material. And based on that, you are going to understand better this topic. But remember, you need to read, you need to look it up some words that you don't understand in your dictionary. You need to create your own vocabulary. You need to practice the pronunciation of the new words. And then the rest is going to be easy. But if you don't read it, if you don't look it up words in dictionaries, could be difficult. And the only way that we have to learn new vocabulary is creating a new vocabulary and using those words. No hay otra alternativa para aprender nuevo vocabulario. Pero si en lo que voy leyendo me encuentro con 10 palabras que no sé el significado, Pero ahí las dejo y sigo adelante, entonces ahí hay problemas. Ahí sí. If I ask you, uh, how many words did you find today new for you? What can you tell me? Let us see. If In you... my case, yes, teacher, I see for the first time the 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 word site only that no. yeah okay for example I, 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 in another case when i i see it uh, when it was no a class i i related with a sita okay but, so, but i don't know how I how it convert in, 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 as I told you, all depends on the context that you are going to use. 
Yeah, okay. And all and also uh, about the level. Okay, somebody else wants to say something about this. No. For me, a word. A word? Yes. Okay. You for me. <laughs> okay, try to try to look it up in dictionaries in order to get the 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 right meaning because uh remember that if you look it up in the dictionary or you are going to find out more than five or six meaning, but you need to relate it with the context. Eso es lo que tenemos que tener cuidado. Eh, donde la fuente que consultamos tiene que ser una fuente confiable para que eh, dependiendo de eso así lo vamos a relacionar con el contexto porque de eso depende el significado del contexto. Teacher. Hello. Y el Cambridge Dictionary is bueno. Yes, it's Cambridge Dictionary is good. Nowadays we have the, the chance to look it up uh, online. Online we can find uh, different dictionaries that we need to be careful about. Pero tenemos que ser cuidadosos también. Eso es, eh, ahí aplicamos lo de las marcas. ¿Sí? Porque yo puedo necesitar alguna información, pero no todo lo que está en Google es confiable. Entonces yo debo de buscar que sea confiable. Eso debemos de tener cuidado. Es como a, a, a los traductores en lo personal. Eh, no confío tanto en los traductores. Porque cuando eh, un estudiante lo hace a través de Google, ah, tan pronto comienzo a leer el artículo, me doy cuenta que lo ha hecho así. Porque la máquina podrá ser bastante perfecta, pero nunca como la mente humana. No, 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 no. Yo sé que con lo que acabo de decir puedo entrar en contradicción con alguno de ustedes y me va a decir, no, I believe in my computer. But all the pain of you. And one day you are going to say, tenía razón. Tenía razón, van a decir. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know uh, if somebody else have another comment or not. Let me check out the attendance. Today left for this week and you are going to get your vacation. pero no se me vayan a, 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 a desaparecer en esa semana de vacación y ya el lunes no me aparezca. Y una vez más avisándoles que he estado eh, revisando las notas. Necesito dejarlas hasta la tercera semana el día viernes en la noche. A algunos les hace falta todavía su midterm exam. I invite you that you do it. Les invito por favor a que lo puedan hacer porque es necesario. Y traten de, de participar lo más que puedan. Adriana. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Uh, Ana Mariela. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Present José, teacher. José Jonathan. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. 
Eh, Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Zaira eh, Eliana. Zaira Marlene. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. And, and, and okay, okay, I'm going to continue. I'm going to tell you later. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Eh, Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And according to the list, number 18 is Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Okay, you, you have uh, 10 minutes today in order to clarify some ideas on those that you have. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Wendy, Hi. you are going. Uh, I, I need to talk with you, Wendy. Wendy, Wendy, I know that you are you look tired. You say that you are tired. Okay, thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Teacher, bye. Bye. Maria Elena, say bye bye. Okay. Wendy. Are you sleepy? No. <laughs> I know, teacher. Ah. Sorry. Ay, pero de verdad que a veces I am tired. I know. I, that usually happens, but we need to no. breathe deep. No. Necesitamos respirar It's profundo. Venue. Necesitamos mm -hmm. respirar profundo, tomar agua, dar oxígeno al cerebro. Para poder yes. aguantar, <laughs> sí, agarrar un dulce, algo que le dé energía. Yes. Okay, I don't know if you I, have any I questions drink, apart I from here. Chocolate. <laughs> ah, okay, cho chocolate. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, yo sé de que cuando eh, los temas llevan como bastante contenido, eh, tienden a ser como así como medio aburridos. Pero eh, así es el contenido y ahí no podemos hacer mucho. Lo que sí debemos de hacer es leer, eh, ir creando nuestro vocabulario, insisto en eso, ir buscando la, el significado de acuerdo al contexto, porque también eso es, hay que saber adecuar el, la traducción de acuerdo al contexto. Eso es fijado, es muy nada. importante porque ya el nivel ya no es el mismo. Ya cuando lleguemos al avanzado, será el hilo de diferente. Entonces, eso va a seguir cambiando. Así es que, Wendy, dígame si tiene alguna pregunta. Si no tiene alguna pregunta, entonces todo está claro. No, teacher. No todo está claro. <risa> Ay, me ha costado ahora. No sé por qué. Siento que quizás, un, bueno, el contenido es como, como bien técnico. Bien. Sí. Me siento como que si, yo sé que me falta una empresa, entonces me siento como que si estoy sacando eh, mercadeo o la o una empresa, pero en inglés. Sí, es. Es que al final... Al final, eh, si, si se han dado, si no se han dado cuenta, es precisamente eso. Sí. Eh, que se están especializando en algunos temas. Porque deben de manejar algunos términos y crear eh, algunas eh, guías para poder eh, mejorar en, en las empresas. De eso se trata. Sí. Entonces, por, por eso es que a veces yo entiendo que algunos mejor no, no hablan, pero, pero por ratitos eh, me da a pensar de que quizás no comprende, pero si no comprendo, debo de tener, como digo, un diccionario ahí cerca para ir relacionando términos. Sí, es cierto. A veces yo 
bueno, yo trato de participar, pero hago eso que usted me dice. De, por lo menos ahora, al principio no entendía nada, pero rapidito traduje y ya pude sí. participar en ese de, en el, en donde decía que, que qué sucedía si no cumple las expectativas. De, ah, ok, sí. Uh -huh. Sí, y la otra cosa, la otra cosa es que eh, toda la información no está impresa en sus libros, pero sí están los links. ¿De dónde la información sale? No es que uno se la invente, no, ya están las líneas. Sí, sí entonces. Y hay unas partes donde se puede escuchar, que en eso sí, yo solo veo como que sí, sí, se puede escuchar, pero a veces uno quiere imprimir y ahí no, no sale, pero si lo, si lo busca uno y así en, como les digo, en la plataforma, sí se oye, hay unas cosas para oír. No? Sí, en algunas sí. En algunas. Eh, y la otra cosa es que, por ejemplo, en el tema de hoy hay eh, hasta un vídeo en YouTube, pero como por, por derechos de autor no podemos reproducirlos eh, y que queden grabados porque como hay que subirlos a YouTube y si YouTube los detecta que ya están con otra marca, eso nos genera a nosotros problemas. Por eso eh, la empresa nuestra no usa materiales de terceros. Así, de esa manera, por eso es que no. Y a, veces cuando, sí, y a veces cuando se les manda a ver un vídeo, lo miran ustedes, pero eso no, 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 no queda eh, grabado en, en nuestra ah. conferencia, ¿no? Ok. Esa es la razón. Sí. Y ahí, ahí está ese vídeo. Sí, ahí, ahí le aparece el link del vídeo de hoy. Ah. Le, di, le digo dónde lo tiene. Eh, de ver. Justo abajo de la conversación. De, de la que hicimos. Sí, ahí es donde está un mundo y está una, está una manito. Ahí, ahí dice video lesson. Ah, pero ahí está hablando del causa de ver. Pero en, en algunos que sí aparece. Bien, ese del video no, no. Ese no tema, bien. ese entra hasta el día de mañana. Ah, pero en la mayoría sí hay bastante video relacionado a eso. Y la, la tarea, que, ¿en qué tarea tendríamos que ir ahorita, después del midterm? Mm, ya, ya vamos en septiembre. Vaya, para ubicarse, lo más fácil que le indiqué a alguien ayer fue, si esta es la videoconferencia número 18, ubíquese en la 18 y la tarea que sigue, donde está el lapicito, es la, es, es la que tendría que hacer. Ah, ok. Ok. Sí. Sí, porque yo a veces en eso me atraso, pero porque no voy, como que en estos módulos como son de cinco semanas, o sea, como que sí. no latino. Sí, esa es la otra cosa, que como ya en el intermedio son de cinco semanas, eh, las, las unidades, por decirlo así, tenemos que extenderlas. Mm -hmm. Y por eso es que porque hay algunos... En el pensé que una semana antes teníamos que hacerlo cuando en realidad teníamos la siguiente semana. Sí, en el básico son eh, cabales cuatro y aquí son cinco. Ah. Sí, y entonces... la tercera se hace, se hace el metro. Se hace el metro cabal. Así es que chequeé, chequeé el, el, por el número de, de conferencia y ahí se va ubicando. Y me ubico. Y definitivamente el de la primera unidad no. El que usted reportó no lo arreglaron. No, fíjese, no sé pero, si lo arreglaron y yo no lo pude. pero no he visto ningún cambio, pero eh, yo les envía a ustedes en su grupo de WhatsApp que sí lo había reportado. Sí, sí. sí ¿Verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. sí, como que no le... Es que eh, eh, tienen bastante ese reporte, entonces sí, verdad. puede ser que quizás por eso. Sí. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Okay, Wendy, thank you very much. Um, I hope thank to see you tomorrow. Blessings. Okay, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome.